The Stonewall Riots broke out in New York City on June 28, 1969 by patrons of the Stonewall Inn, which was the bar for people with diverse sexual orientations and gender identities. In the US during the 1950s and 60s, homosexuality was illegal in 49 states, with punishment ranging from heavy fines to imprisonment. The suppression meant people of what we now know as the LGBTQ plus community were often subjected to violence, harassment and discrimination. The Stonewall Inn was owned by the Mafia who bribed the police to stay away. But their bribes didn't always work with police officers regularly raiding the Stonewall Inn and other gay bars, charging the patrons with solicitation of homosexual relations and arresting trans and other gender non-conforming patrons simply because they weren't wearing what the police deemed to be gender appropriate clothing. This constant level of harassment, violence and mistreatment is what led the Stonewall riots in the early hours of June 28th. Once again, the police officers raided the Stonewall Inn, but the patrons resisted. Hundreds and then thousands of people began rioting outside the Stonewall Inn by throwing bottles, resisting the police and pushing through the barricades. The police officers retreated to the Stonewall Inn and locked themselves in. The rioters then responded by setting the bar on fire. The police were able to get out of the burning bar, but the riots continued until July 1st. The Stonewall riots may have been violent, but this large-scale defiance made an enormous impact on society, and so began the start of the modern-day liberation movement and a pivotal moment in history. Now we celebrate Pride Month to commemorate the uprising, and every year in June, the world's LGBTQ communities come together with parades, concerts, and marches.